Hi, I'm Han Ling Li. I'm a PhD student at Northwestern University. Today, I'm going to talk about my study with my advisor, Brent Hecht, on the differences in star ratings between Google Maps and Yelp. We're all familiar with star ratings. In fact, the star here has become a commonly used unit for quality. We refer to top restaurants as five star. And local search technologies, such as Google Search and Bing, use stars to communicate the restaurant's quality. But sometimes, stars can be misleading. A while back, my friends and I tried to find a good restaurant together. Someone texted the group and said, this restaurant has 4.5 stars and seems like a decent spot for sushi. Well, let's say if we had been happy with our food, this paper wouldn't exist. I did a little bit of investigation afterward. Turns out this restaurant does have 4.5 stars on Google Maps. But if we look at the Yelp rating, it's only rated the 3.5 stars, one star lower than its Google Maps rating. Now, this cross-platform difference raises the question, can the star be used as a unit of measurement universally, like later and gram? Our study seeks to find out the answer to this question. But before I move on, you might be thinking, even if ratings are different between platforms, rankings might be consistent. That means if I search for restaurants in my area, Google Maps and Yelp will provide me with consistent rank lists. Our study also looked at, looked at this and investigated whether top-ranked restaurants are consistent across platforms. To do this, we collected 21,000 restaurants Google Maps and Yelp ratings. We constructed a very straightforward metric called Google Maps Yelp to describe what the differences between a res restaurant average Google Maps rating and its average Yelp rating. At the highest level, we see the distributions of average ratings are different between Google Maps and Yelp. The mean of average rating on Google Maps is 4.2 stars, whereas the equivalent number on Yelp is 3.5 stars. Now, if we look at Google minus Yelp, 93% of the restaurants in our data set have a positive Google minus Yelp value, meaning that their average Google Maps ratings are higher than their average Yelp ratings. And that is the shaded area in this graph. A quarter of the restaurants in our data set have a Google minus Yelp value that is equal to or greater than one star. The mean of Google minus Yelp is 0.7 stars. We want you to know what type of restaurants are having higher Google minus Yelp values. We constructed a multivariate linear regression model using restaurant properties. Controlling for price tier and categories, a chain restaurant's Google minus Yelp value is half star higher than an independent restaurant. This means that the differences between Google Maps and Yelp are largely driven by chain restaurants. Now, moving to our ranking analysis, I want you to note that it is impossible to conduct an ideal audit of local search results without access to local search technologies ranking algorithms as well as popular search queries. So borrowing from prior work, we use the lower bound of a rating distribution's mean to rank restaurants. As a result, a 4.6 star restaurant with a large number of ratings will be ranked higher than a 4.7 star restaurant with very few ratings. For each census tract, we examined whether its Google Maps rank list differs from its Yelp rank list. Only 13% of census tracts in our data set have identical top three lists between Google Maps and Yelp. The majority of the census tracts do not have the identical top three lists between, between Google Maps and Yelp. 40% of the census tracts have at least two restaurants different. And now if we look at the zip code level, which is a larger geographic unit, 65% of the zip codes have at least two restaurants different. And now if we even look at even a larger geographic unit, uh, metropolitan area, we see that Google Maps and Yelp likely yield completely different top 10 restaurants. As robust and check, we examined top restaurants straight on the platform's user interfaces and found similar results to our formal large-scale analysis. This trend suggests that as the focus of the geographic region enlarges, top-ranked restaurants become more and more diverse between the two platforms. Now to wrap up, I want to share two key takeaways from our study. First, star ratings are highly context-dependent, so they should not be interpreted in a vacuum. Here, I listed a few factor, factors that may potentially influence rating production and can find more details in our paper. The second key takeaway is that monopoly power may influence what rating and ranking we see. Promoting one rating platform and demoting others in local search results may provide users with misleading information and send the demoted platforms into a death spiral as fewer and fewer users using these rating platforms.